All right, so what we're going to do here is uh, a couple of students have asked me, is it possible to do the graphing calculator? Is it possible to do transformations on the graphing calculator? And the answer to that is yes. So we're going to do f of negative 2x plus 5. Now, we're going to use the example that was gone over in class. Uh, if you remember the final answer from yesterday, you know, 3, 2, uh, 1, 7, uh, let's see, that's negative 2, 4, and lastly, uh, negative 4, 6. So, what we're going to do here is we need to figure out the equations that contain the lines here. Now, for AB, for line AB, this is from negative 6, negative 3 to uh, negative 2, 2. So what happens here, by the way, the domain is negative 6x, and we can call it less than negative 2 because BC is going to go from negative 2 to something else. And then CD will obviously end at, where is that going to end? That is going to end at 8. So BC is going to end at uh, 4. And then CD is going to go from 4. And we'll let it just include that. It really doesn't make a difference here, but that's going to come into play when we do the piecewise function. So B is negative 2, 2, and that's going to take us to 4, negative 1. And then lastly, uh, C is going to go from 4, negative 1 to I believe it'll go to 8, 1. Yes. So what we have to do now is if you want to really use the calculator, we have to find the equation of each line. So here's the thing. Remember that the slope is the difference in the y coordinates divided by the difference in the x coordinates and that y equals mx plus b. Now, for a, b, and c, d, we know those slopes are actually going to be positive. Now, we could find the slopes using the formula. So, for the slope for this, we would have 2 minus negative 3 divided by negative 2 minus negative 6. So what that is going to give us is 5 over 4. So the slope is 5, 4, positive 5 fourths. In fact, if you go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1, 2, 3, 4, that's how you get to the next line. But now we need to figure out the y-intercept. Now, one thing we could do is uh, if we draw a point, that you know we draw the line that continues we could do that but let's figure that out easily so we'll do y equals mx plus b so and what we'll do then is we'll pick one of our points I'll pick negative 2 2 so what that means is the y is going to be 2 the m is 5 fourths the x is negative 2, and then plus b. So basically, what you're going to have to do here is solve this for b. So 2 will equal, let's see, that's negative 10 over 4. Uh, negative 10 over 4, which is negative 2.5 plus b. So B equals 4.5 or, you know, 9 halves. 
So basically the equation here is y equals 5 fourths x plus 4.5 or 9 halves. It doesn't really matter which one you do it as. So there is our first piece. Now we want to figure out the equation of the line going between B and C now. So first thing we do is we figure out the slope. Now fortunately, and I didn't even write this problem to be this simple, but the equations of the lines actually come out to something very simple. Uh, it's a possibility that the equations of these lines could be very ugly. But we'll get negative 1 minus 2 over 4 minus negative 2, which gives us negative 3 over 6, which is negative 1 half. And as you can tell, yeah, down 1 and over 2, down 1 and over 2, down 1 and over 2. In fact, yeah, see this line was drawn somewhat improperly. We can already see what the y-intercept is going to be, which is going to be 1. But we're going to solve it anyway. So using y equals mx plus b, we'll have negative 1 equal to negative 1 half times 4 plus b. So negative 1 will equal uh, negative 2 plus b. b will equal positive 1. So the equation of the line containing these points is y equal to negative 1 half x plus 1. Now keep in mind what the domain is because that's going to come into play when we do the entering of the piecewise. So for the last one, we're going to get 1 minus negative 1 over 8 minus 4, which is 2 fourths, or simply 1 half. So plugging into y equals mx plus b, uh, we'll use the second point. So we'll get 1 equal to 1 half times 8 plus b. 1 will equal 4 plus b. b will equal negative 3. So for this, we will get y equal to 1 half x minus 3. So that line CD, now if you were to hypothetically extend that, you know, this is where the y-intercept would be if you were to just extend that. But here's the beautiful thing. We have our three pieces now. Now, we're going to go to y equals, and under y1, now we're going to enter the three functions that we have gotten from this. So for that, we're going to go to math and scroll up to piecewise, and we're going to choose that there are indeed three pieces. Uh, fortunately, you know, the one that's on your test will only be one piece. So there, as you can see, there are, equa there are places to put three equations here. Now the first place, uh, 5 fourths x, will set up a fraction. You know, 5 over 4 times x plus, you could do it 9 halves or plus 4.5. Now, for this second part, what you're going to do is you're going to enter the domain. Well, the domain goes from negative 6 to negative 2. So, we will type in negative 6. Now, less than or equal to, so to get to that, you have to hit second and test. Less than or equal to which is number 6, x, and second in math for test again, and we'll just do less than negative 2. So there is our first piece. Now, let's go ahead and plug in the second piece, which is negative 1 half x. So let's set up another fraction negative 1 over 2 after that, 
x and plus 1. Now, we agreed that that would be from negative 2 to positive 4. The negative 2 would actually be included. So test x, and it'll just be less than 4. Now we get to the third and final piece, which was 1 half x minus 3. So let's go ahead and enter that. I mean, it's true. You could have just done 0.5. So 1 half x minus 3. So for this, x will be between 4 and 8. And then enter, and it's done. So now you hit the graph, and this is what it's going to look like. So now f of negative 2x plus 5. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go to y equals. Now, obviously, there's no f here, but y1 is f. So we're going to go to vars and choose y1 and it will be y1 of negative 2x close the parenthesis and then plus 5 so for the graph and there it is now negative 4 6 on the final one so what we can do is we can plot the oops, not 44 see it won't even be defined yeah, it's not even going to be defined there. So if we did negative 4, it's at 6. If we did it at negative 2, we would have it at 4. 1, and then 7, and then our last one would be at 3 and 2. So this is a good way to check your work. Now, you know, the piecewise function, it's a little hard to, I mean, it's a lot of work to figure that out, but you can do it now. So what you can do, we could actually try something else, like maybe negative 3 times, you know, y1 of, we could even do negative x plus 2 and there you have it so I hope this video gives you a little bit of information as to how to do this I think it's good practice now the good thing is on your test you only have two points between a line so in reality you would only have to find the piecewise function for one and then change the domain Let's say we were just doing BC. So I'm actually going to go ahead and erase these. And let's see here. For math, you know, piecewise, we can change these to one piece. And negative one half x or negative 0.5x plus 1, and it would be valid between, oh, what was it, uh, negative 2 and 4. And what we'll do here is we'll actually include them and then you can make all sorts of adjustments. You know, 4 times y1 of x plus 7 minus 2. See? You can do that. All right. So that's going to be it here for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. 
So thank you for watching.